Okay, so two years later, 2014, you released your fifth album, Akeda. Yeah. Right around that time, the next year, you were actually supposed to perform at Sunsplash in Spain. Mm, yeah. Rotodom, and it's called. Yeah, it was called Rotodom Festival. Rotodom Sun, Sunsplash, right. Yeah. And before the festival, the people that put it together asked you to sign a paper saying that you were against Israel's occupation of Palestine. Correct. And you were the only person on that roster that was asked to sign anything. Right, correct. When you were given that paper, what did you think? Oh, I just like laughed and I was like, called my agent. I'm like, they got to pay me either way, right? And he confirmed that I would get paid and I'm like taking the fucking night off. I was on tour. I was I was tired. We were flying all over fucking Europe and we I think we were in Amsterdam or somewhere and I was like, nope, I don't have to go to Spain. And I didn't say shit about it either. I was, I was happy with the night off. And they're the ones that they posted about it, like patting themselves on the back. And then within 24 hours, the government was going to shut the fucking festival down. Backers were pulling out. They had to apologize, public apology, beg me to come back to the festival, which I did then go back and play. And then I had to play to a bunch of fucking BDS bastards that were trying to make a, a uh, fucking triangle to so block the other 30,000 people from seeing me. And uh, that was my first experience with all this bullshit. And it was 10 years ago. And at the time, it was, uh, it was not cool. And now it's completely uh, the norm. It's completely accepted. So, you know, you know that shows you this, things have changed. Yeah, I mean, right now, the whole anti-Semitic thing is huge, unfortunately. I mean, but that was the first time you really experienced it on a, on a big level like that? Yeah, that was the first time I think that like any American Jewish artist, they came after you like that. I mean, because Israelis, that's been going on for years and years, you know, uh, but an American Jew who simply supports Israel. So yeah, that was my first experience with it, really. I think. You know, when Kanye went on the whole anti-Semitic rant, when he first said, you know, DEFCON on Jews, and then went on to do a whole bunch of interviews about Jews need to forgive Hitler and get over it, and, you know, how he's not talking about any particular Jews, but all Jews in general, and so forth and so forth. And ultimately, he ended up getting dropped by every corporation from Adidas uh, to Gap to his work with Balenciaga and I believe even his record label. How did you feel when all that was happening? I just thought he was being crazy and I don't usually pay much fucking attention to that shit because I have six kids, three dogs, a fucking career that I manage myself. I'm on the road 200 days a year. I just don't have fucking time uh, to put like to just really give a shit. So, I mean, people were telling me about it and I just didn't really take it seriously. And then at some point I wrote a, at some point someone played a beat for me and I was in a writing session and I just started writing. And I, I wrote a, a rap like about anti-Semitism and it was, it was definitely inspired by the Kanye shit, what I, what I had been hearing about it. And that, so it did inspire me in a way to write something that, uh, a song I released called The Scent. It's like my, the last song. I made a video in Israel uh, for it. It's a pretty powerful video. 